So we made it. Uh... <sighs> okay, so we made it. We're here, we're in, we're in Marquette. We are officially moved in. <clears throat> but I, I, so I get there today and I'll be there all the way through Saturday. So I'm there for like a week. I'm thinking I'll have some downtime and stuff to be able to at least shoot out and, you know, kind of experience the city one last time. Or not one last, I mean, I, I fully expect us to be back there at some point, not living necessarily, but you know, I don't think that's the end. Like, I don't think that's the, <laughs> like a hard end for us with New York. It'll just be a while, I think, before we find our way back there. But it, it's kind of tough because when Casey comes in, you know, she comes in on Friday night and then we just kind of load up the U-Haul and then, and then that's kind of it, um, if everything goes according to plan. So she doesn't really even get to see our home, our apartment in New York, even, even as it is right now, like still kind of put together, you know, it's just kind of like a, a rough transition. I don't know, but there's something tough about going back and kind of knowing that it's the end of the New York City thing for us, but we're excited for what's coming. Um, there's a lot of stuff on the horizon, so there is stuff to look forward to, but it is kind of a tough chapter to end. So I'm off to the airport in an hour, and then I figure I'll just check in throughout the week and we'll see, we'll see what I get up to. All right, we're here at the airport. We just got here. My flight board's in about 45 minutes, so we're right on time. I'm on my own from this point forward, so. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll let you know when I get back to the city. All right, here we go. Let's just, let's get this done. We'll get a better look at it later <laughs> before I start tearing it apart, but I'm here. It's late and this is the apartment. So I have to pack all of this. Uh, within a couple days here. It feels weird being back here in this space. It's very familiar. It's almost like, it's almost like I never left, but I'd forgotten that I had all this uh, stuff. <laughs> um, Cause I've just been kind of living out of a suitcase in a backpack for three or four months now. So I've definitely, I'm making a mental list of all the stuff that I know I'd already don't want to take back with me. Um, hopefully tomorrow boxes arrive. And then after that, um, I have some errands and stuff to run here to tie up some loose ends here in the city. After that, it's just kind of crossing our fingers if there's a truck available. I'm predicting that it's going to be a mess, so it's just weird to be back. Um, yeah, yeah, all right, back at it tomorrow. Okay. Okay, it is the next day. Um, we've, we've gotten, they just delivered boxes that we're going to be using for moving. So they just delivered these. Um, we got a lot here and I think we're gonna be pretty good with that amount, I hope. I'm predicting there being a lot of stuff <laughs> in these kitchen cabinets here that that's gonna take up the majority of that space. That was one thing that I was worried about was, um, I'm worried about, well, first I'm worried about the truck and second I'm worried about, or I was worried about making sure that there were boxes to pack in and now that we have the boxes, I feel good. So I just kinda wanted to give you a walkthrough of what the apartment looks like because I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink some coffee and then I'm just gonna start I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna start in the office and I'm just gonna start packing. Uh, crunch time. So this is what it looks like. This is final look. One thing that makes me a little bit nervous is that I think Casey and I have gotten quite good at packing a lot of stuff into a small amount of space. <laughs> I'm just gonna get started. That's it, that's the apartment. Um, yeah, that's the final look. Final look here. It's kind of weird. We're gonna say goodbye. I just took apart the playbill wall here. Um, these were all of the shows that we were able to see while we were here in New York. Let's see if I can pull out some favorites here. Shakespeare in the Park, Midsummer. Mid that was great, that was great. Once, that was the first show that Casey and I ever saw on Broadway together, but we saw this when we actually, before we lived here, so that one's extra special. Waiting for a Good Doe, that one's mine. Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, Spring Awakening, probably my favorite show that I saw here. Um, yeah, I consider myself to be very lucky that I, that I got a chance to see that. I saw it three times. And Curious Incident. Those are my favorites. I was actually pretty surprised how much I fit in that box. If everything, if I can be, <laughs> if I can get, 
a good amount like that in every box, I think I'll probably, I feel like I won't need very many for this room. So first box down, there it is. The first of many. <laughs> it's gonna be weird taking this all apart and weirder still doing it without, without Casey. I feel like she should be here just to experience it, I guess. She'll be here at the end, but we'll see her at the end. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, first box down, let's just keep going. See how far we get today. All right, it's kind of my last packing day here. Today's Thursday, I have all day tomorrow. Casey comes in tomorrow night, but I have a feeling that by the end of the day today, I will have everything packed and ready to go. I'm expecting that once all of this stuff gets to uh, gets to where we're going, we'll, as we unpack everything, we'll probably throw some stuff away. Um, but it's just too hard to kind of communicate over the phone what it is that we're keeping and what we're not. So um, we're just gonna pack everything and then when we unpack, that's when we'll kind of do our, our purge. So things are going, I think, so far, better than expected. Um, I'm happy with the number of boxes that we have. We have a lot of extra boxes right now. We have, I think we have like 25 empty boxes that we're not using, which is great. Okay, that's the update. Almost done. Okay. I think we are nearing the end here of this of this whole fiasco. Um, hang on. Hello? That was Casey. She's on her way to the airport now. She wasn't gonna head for the airport unless she knew for sure that she needed to be here. We were worried about the truck being available but the truck's available. So not too long ago, I got confirmation from the truck rental spot uh, that we have a guaranteed truck tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Uh, it's not exactly where we wanted it. It's, it's, a, it's a couple miles out, um, but it's still relatively easy to get to, so I think we're just gonna have to be okay with that. <laughs> but if there's anything that I know about New York, there are no, <laughs> there are no guarantees, so there's still room for some catastrophe. Um, I'm really not gonna be confident with everything until I'm like sitting in the truck tomorrow. <laughs> so something that I really, really like about New York is the food. Although some of my uh, some of my favorite restaurants, locally at least, have closed here. So I've just gone out to my favorite deli close by where we live here and I've just picked up my favorite food item, the gyro. <laughs> Apart from ordering food out, we didn't really have a lot of places that we went to go eat at. Um, there wasn't a really a lot of like restaurants or anything like that near our first apartment, um, but there was. There was a Rite Aid kind of near our apartment and there was always sort of like a cart, like a food cart parked kind of outside of it. And that was where I had my first New York Euro. And I liked it so much that I probably got Euros maybe two or three times a week for the rest of my time there. And then when we moved apartments, um, I switched to a deli for like after work food and dinner and quick snacks and stuff like that. So I switched, I switched to a deli that's just down the road and they do Euros there as well and they were equally as good. Um, wow, yeah, I think euros are probably one of the standout foods that I've had here in New York. So I thought that I would give, this will be my last New York euro. I'm kind of sad about it, but I'm looking forward to eating it because it's really tasty. <laughs> All right, so this is my first bite of my last euro in New York, okay. Yeah, of course it's amazing, oh my God. So at our new apartment, where we're going, I do know that there's a restaurant locally that does euros as well. And I've had one before, but I don't remember it blowing my brain, kind of like this one has. So I'm a little reserved to kind of like lean into that. This really might be my last time in a long time having a euro this good. Yeah, so I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna eat that. I just thought it would be worth cataloging. Yeah, because it's one of my favorite things about this place. Yeah, okay. She's here in New York. <clears throat> Welcome. I'm leaving. <laughs> Yay. So everything got a little crazy when you showed up. We went to bed and we woke up the next morning and everything just kind of took off. So actually, it's gone. It's empty. The apartment is done. Check it out. All that stuff that was in there, all that, that's done. All that's empty. Bedroom's done. This is it. This is final walkthrough. Let's go show you guys what it's like. So this is where we lived. Not for our entire five years in New York, but for pretty close. And it's all finished, we're all packed up and ready to go. Final thoughts, Casey? It was good while it lasted. Well, we're waiting for our super right now because he's gonna, he's gonna do a final walk through the apartment, but then after that, we're out. We out. We out. So we'll catch you guys on the drive.
Okay, so like the trickiest thing about this move is that it feels weird. It's weird for a couple of different reasons, but I think I think the big one is that when we left New York, it didn't really feel like New York at the time, if that makes sense. So we're here, we don't own, you know, there's nothing left of our property in Brooklyn. There's no, there's nothing in New York really, apart from our friends that are still there, but it still feels like we're kind of straddling two different places at once. And I think the reason for that is because, I mean, we, we talked about this on our podcast a little bit, but I think one of the one of the big reasons for that is because when you live somewhere like New York City and then it comes time to say goodbye to it, there's a list of things and places that you wanna go and do and see and last meals and there's a checklist there's like a bucket list for New York but none of that is possible right now so we've left New York and I, I mean physically we've really left New York like I, I drove <laughs> my poor right foot I, it drove halfway across the country to get us back here to Michigan like I'm very aware of the fact that we don't exist as like an entity in New York anymore oh I don't know it's just this is this is odd but I think that the one thing that I got caught up in when I was packing things away was that feeling of nostalgia, you know? I think I was trying, I was trying to channel too much of it, I think, and what ended up happening was, you know, I'm recording bits here and there of, of me packing and doing things away, and, uh, and I even went out and I got my favorite Euro at a local deli place that was just down the street, and I was trying to hold together as much of my Brooklyn experience as I could, but I think the reality of the situation here is that we just, we just kind of don't feel anything when it comes to New York. New York for us, when we when we moved out right after college, it was always just kind of meant to be the place where we sort of kicked off our careers, where we sort of started as a couple, but I just feel like we've grown so much since then that um, it really kind of felt like that that chapter of our lives had really come to an end anyways. So it wasn't like our decision to leave New York came very suddenly or, or anything like that. We were talking about some kind of move even as early as a couple of months before the pandemic was even really a thing. So I think it was kind of rest, it was sitting in the back of our heads a little bit before any of this really, really kind of hit the fan. So this hasn't been hard. This hasn't been hard. I think the hardest thing about leaving New York was actually driving a, driving a truck out of the city that, <laughs> would not recommend for anybody who doesn't have to do that. <laughs> when we had moved the last box of stuff onto the truck, I went up to Casey and I had asked, you know, do you want to go get a last look at the apartment? And she eventually said yes, um, but she didn't really feel like she needed to. And that's kind of when that became a reality for me. I think our move to New York changed us a lot. And I think we became over time more and more acclimated to that lifestyle and, and the different things that come along with living in a big city like that. And then when you when we move back here to Michigan, we, we've subconsciously taken those experiences with us. And now there's kind of like a cooling, uh, cooling down period. Does that make sense? <laughs> like, my mindset coming back into Marquette, you know, Casey and I, we went to school here. This is where this is where we met. This is where we got our education, where we graduated. My mindset coming back here has been very career driven. Um, and it was never like that when I lived here before. And I do think that New York has changed that about me. This is really hard to describe, but I think when I was out in New York, it just kind of felt like there was a bunch of stuff operating above head level, like way up here that I could never hope to like reach or grasp. I would catch glimpses of it every once in a while, but more often than not, it just kind of felt like it was out of reach. But here, you know, being in Marquette, I feel like taking even just the little bit of, of New York artist experience that I had, it just feels like I've come into this town, this city, and everything's just kind of like spread out in front of me rather than being, you know, way up there. I feel like the opportunities are more accessible. I feel like there's more of a sense of, you know, community. I think there's individuality and, and, and different things like that here. And um, I'm really excited to kind of like dive headfirst into that. Um, but that's just like me and my art stuff. I know that this transition is a little bit weirder for Casey. So if there's anything that I'm hoping to get from Marquette maybe over the next year, I think while I was in New York, that was really the time for me to experiment with my artistry and figure out exactly what it is that I'm interested in and kind of uh, forge a bit of a path ahead, I guess. But I think here in Marquette, this is really gonna be where I hit the ground running. And you've, and you know, you guys have seen some of that already, even over the last month or two, you know, during the summer, but I'm really, I'm really making 
as much as I can. And I think that's only gonna get better here in Marquette. At the end of the day, I don't think that where you are really defines your art. When I was in New York, I think I spent too much time leaning on the crutch of being a New York City artist, but it really didn't get me anywhere. And I think being here in Marquette, even just during this last summer, you know, this transition period for me, I think my attitude has shifted to just be totally art focused and less and worry less about the stupid the the titles, you know, the self-assigned whatever. I think it's I think it's it's taken me a little bit too long to realize it, but it's all just kind of bullshit. I don't think places and locations define you as an artist. They can have an impact, they can shape you as an artist, but, but these locations, they're not gonna shape anything if there's nothing there, you know? There has to be substance, there has to be content. So we are done with New York for right now. We'll probably end up back there eventually, professionally or otherwise, you know, even just to visit for sure. You know, I think there's gonna be stuff that we're gonna miss about the city experience going forwards. But for right now, we're done. And I'm really excited to see where this next chapter takes us.